All right, we're gonna try this again. I have made several takes trying to make this video and kept getting interrupted. So, welcome, welcome back. Uh, my name is John Rourke and uh, what I'm gonna talk about today is the Russia-Ukraine situation and uh, my thoughts on why uh, we over here in the United States and maybe in other areas of the world that are not directly impacted should be concerned. So I had somebody leave a comment on one of my other recent videos about Russia, Ukraine, and they basically said, and this is me paraphrasing, hey, you live in the United States. You got nothing to worry about. Eh, maybe your gas prices will go up a little bit. So that's my paraphrasing of what they had to say. And I have no idea where this, this person lives or, you know, I don't know anything about them. So it really doesn't matter. So, you know, why do I have concerns about what's happening uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away? Well, beyond the humanitarian, uh, aspect of it that people are, uh, you know, being killed. Uh, Russia ha is now fully invaded. Uh, there's been airstrikes across the country. Um, there's all kinds of pictures coming out showing civilians that have been injured. And um, I'm sure we're going to be hearing soon about the deaths and you'll hear about some school got hit and all that. It's, it's, that's the terrible nature of war. Uh, beyond that, for myself uh, and, and people here in the United States, my concerns revolve around numerous aspects of life. Uh, fuel that the individual mentioned is absolutely a concern. Uh, I, I, you know, we've already seen uh, a, a barrel of oil has, has hit $100. Uh, with the news of Russia invading. The stock market has dipped significantly uh, today. Now, who knows what will happen uh, for the rest of the day uh, tomorrow, which is Friday, uh, and what will happen with the stock market going forward. But uh, cyber attacks is a, is a major concern. Russia has implemented uh, numerous cyber attacks prior to going into Ukraine, as well as while they're going into Ukraine. Uh, there are many believe, many that believe that those cyber attacks will then turn to those who are standing up against Russia in any way, which includes those countries that have implemented sanctions, which appears to be an ongoing thing with the United States and uh, many of its allies. So the threat of cyber attacks here in the United States is significant. And the impact of those cyber attacks may be run anywhere from being a nuisance to a small percent of the population to being catastrophic to a large percent of the population. Uh, we could see interruptions to the power grid, banking system, financial markets, uh, communication systems. There's discussions of Russia uh, potentially uh, interrupting service of our satellites. Uh, all these things uh, could have varying degrees of severity depending upon what happens. Um, if you live in the middle of a big city and the power grid is taken down, or the communication and financial systems taken down in that city, that would be a big problem. If you live out in the middle of Georgia, uh, out in the country, and um, you know suddenly credit cards don't work, but you're out in the country and you're prepared and you have food and you have water, not as bad. As preppers, we prepare for what might happen, what could happen. Not uh, you know, the possibilities of, of cyber attacks 
uh, the possibilities of fuel skyrocketing in price of more inflation um, is real and we, we have to take that in, into consideration and prepare for it and be smart uh, we have to live our lives no doubt we have to get up and go to work we have to do the things um, but for somebody to say well you got nothing to worry about. You live in the United States. Eh, maybe your gas will go up a little bit in price. I think that is um, ridiculous. So, but hopefully they're right. Hopefully they're right. I mean, what what do you think? What 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 are your biggest concerns now that Russia has fully invaded Ukraine and? We see it's actually happening. What are your concerns? What do you think is going to happen? Just comment below. So, man, there's a lot of stressed out people right now. With with not only that and what might happen, but just everything that's going on. Take, take the time to breathe. Go out for a walk. Look up at the sky. And... Uh, just take some appreciation for, for the good things that you got going on around you. So that's what I'm going to do. You guys take care. If you got anything out of this video, I appreciate it if you hit that like button, subscribe, click that notification bell. We'll catch you next time. See ya.